Hi guys, welcome to sixth grade, chapter two, lesson two. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. He wants us to compare uh, decimals with fractions. Now for me, it's always easier to make the fraction into a decimal because then we can just use it like ABC order. If you make a decimal into a fraction, you have to put it over the right number, um, whatever place it's in, but then you have to compare the denominators. So you have to make the denominators the same. It's just an extra step that I don't need. So I'm gonna go ahead and make the fraction into a decimal and then we can make it like ABC order, okay? So 15 is not gonna go into six, okay? But if I put a decimal, I can put a zero and then 15 will go into 60. I wrote those down here four times, okay? So that is 60, not 6.0, just 60. And then we get zero, okay? So this is 0.4. This is 0.48. So this one, if I want to have the same amount, I can do this, okay? So then which one is going to be bigger? 0.48, okay? All right, we're going to go ahead and do number three, okay? Number three says 0 0.75 or 7 eighths, okay? So I'm going to take that 7 eighths. The seven goes inside, the eight goes outside, okay? How to remember that is eight over eight is one whole. So you have less than one whole here. If I did seven into eight, then I would have a one. So that can't be right, okay? So that means that the top number goes inside the box, okay? Eight's not gonna go into seven. So I'm gonna put my decimal, I'm gonna put a zero. Eight will go into 70, uh, eight times, which is 64, okay? When I subtract, I get six, okay? Now, six is smaller than eight, so I can add another zero and I can bring that down. Eight into 60 is gonna go seven times, okay? Seven times eight, 56. Now, I could keep going, but here's the thing. This is 0.7 and this one is 0.8. That one's bigger. Really, I didn't have to go past that eight because this one's 0.7 and this one's 0.8. It means this one's bigger, okay? All right, numbers four, you're going to do yourself. You can totally do that. I believe in you. We're gonna do number five because it gives us two numbers that we have to change. So seven with a 12 outside and five with a six outside, okay? All right, so 12 is not going to go into 70, okay, or sorry, into 7, so I'm going to put a decimal and a 0. 12, let me go over here, I'm going to write my multiples of 12 real fast. 12, 24, 36, 48, and 60, okay. Oh, and then 72, 84, let's see if we have to go past that, okay? So. 12 into 70, 72 too big. So that means 60. So that's five times, which is 60. Subtract and get 10. Well, 10 is less than 12. It looks like I'm gonna have to do another one here. Okay, so then I can add a zero, bring it down, okay? 12 into 100, it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times, because we are not gonna get higher than 96 without going over 100, okay? Eight times 12 was 96. Okay, we're gonna have four left over. Add another zero. I'm gonna bring that down with another color. Okay, 12 into 40. Well, 48 is too big, so 36 is three. Okay, that's 36. We'll have four left over, and that's gonna repeat them. Okay, so, but that makes this one point five eight. Okay, let's start over here. Okay, six into five is not going to happen. Placeholder. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put a decimal and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to put a zero. Okay, six times eight is 48. Okay, subtract. It's going to be two. Okay. Now, 
And actually, I don't have to go any further than that because this one starts with 0.8. Okay? So that starts 0.5, that's 0.7, that's 0.8. Okay? So largest, oh, sorry, lowest to great, least to greatest. Okay? Which means this one's going to be number one. This one's going to be number two. And this one's going to be number three. Okay? Don't have to go any further than that. It's 0.8. Okay? All right. Number six through eight. You do them. You guys can totally do that. Six, seven, and eight. You guys do. Okay? We are going to go on to number nine. Okay? And nine is the same exact thing. It just wants us to go the opposite way and give it from greatest to least. So we're going to go biggest to smallest on this one. Okay? So I'm going to do over here. A nine into seven and over here an eight into seven okay and we'll see how far we've got to go with these ones okay so nine's not going to go into seven okay put a decimal zero nine into 70 okay we'll go seven times for 63 when i subtract i get zero so it's going to be since i got another seven, just like this one, I'm going to add a zero, bring it down. So the seven is going to repeat. Okay. So it would mean seven, 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 and it would keep going seven. Okay. So this one, 0.77. Okay. This one would be 0 0.70 if we went that far. Okay. Now eight into seven doesn't happen. Okay. Eight into 70. Okay. Uh, 8 times 9 is 72, so 8 times 8 is 64. If I subtract it, I would get 6. Get another 0, bring it down with another color so you can see the step. 8 would go into 60, 7 times for 56, subtract, get 4. And just because it would end it, I'm going to do another one. I like to end it. Okay. Okay. So this one would be 0.875. Okay. So greatest to least. Well, that's going to make this one number one because it's 0.8. Okay. Now, these ones, you have 0 0.70 and 0 0.77. Okay. Well, the sevens are the same. So we would go to the next one. We have a seven and a zero. That makes this one number two. That makes this one the last one, number three. Okay? All right. Numbers 10, 11, and 12, you do. It's the same exact thing. You're just putting them in order from greatest to least. Okay? We are going to go down to our word problems and start doing those. Okay? So, number 13 says one day of snow three and three eighths of an inch in Altoona and 3.45 inches in Bethlehem. Which city received less snow that day? Okay, so this one wants snow greatest to smallest, but we need to know which one is less. Well, they both start with three. So I'm just going to cross those out and not deal with them. Okay, they both have three as the whole number that's out front. So now I just need three eighths and 0.45. So I am going to put three inside the box. Eight outside the box. Eight's not going to go into three. I'm going to put that decimal in and I'm going to add a zero. Okay. So eight will go into 30 three times, which is 24. Subtract. And we would get six. Now, this one is 0.3. I don't have to go any further because that one's 0.4. Okay. Which means that one's bigger, but that means that Altoona is less. And it wanted to know which one got less. Okay. Don't have to go any further. Don't even have to finish the math. Okay. All right. Go to number 14. Number 14. Okay. Says Malia and John each bought two pounds of sunflower seeds. Each ate some seeds. Malia has one and a third pounds left, and John has one and two-fifths pounds left. Who ate more sunflower seeds? 
Okay, so again, they both start with one. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a fun little trick. If you have two fractions that are small, so you don't have to do giant ones, um, for you to see which one is bigger. Okay, so I'm going to go like this. And three times two is six. Okay. Now I'm going to do it the other way. You see, I come to a butterfly. Okay. Five times one is five. Okay. So that means that this one is bigger than this one because six is bigger than five. Now it wants to know who ate more. Well, that means the person that has the least left over is the person who has who ate more okay so that is going to be malia uh, my paper is moving on me no i spelled it wrong no h sorry about that okay all right we're going to go on to the back and on the lesson check you guys are going to do that you totally can i believe in you okay so we are going to go down and we're going to start on the spiral review. It is important to know where we came from, what we've already learned. You need to remember that. Okay. Spiral review number three it says Tyler bought three and seven sixteenths of a pound of oranges. Write this amount using a decimal. Okay. So I've already written the three because that doesn't change. Okay. Now in order to write the decimal, we need to put the seven in the box and the 16 out of the box. Okay, I don't know my multiples of 16 off the top of my head, so I'm going to go ahead and use my calculator just to get the multiples of 16. Okay, so I know that we have 16, 32, 48, and then I got to start using some math here. 64, that would be 80. Okay, let's start there and see if we have to add any more, okay? So, 16 is not going to go into 7. I'm going to add in my decimals, and I'm going to add a 0, okay? 16 will go into 70, looks like 4 times, which will be 64. If I subtract, I get 6, okay? Now, 6 is smaller than 16, so I can add another 0 and bring it down. Six will go into 60. It looks like 64 is too big, so we're going to have to add it up to 48, which is three times. We will have 12 left over. Okay, 16. 12 is smaller. We can go ahead and add another zero and bring it down. And it looks like we're going to have to add some more 16. So 16 times 6 is 96. And 16 times 7 is 112. Goodness, they're making us work for this one, huh? And then 16 times 8 is 128. Okay, so give us a minute and work it out, okay? So now 16 into 120. It looks like the closest we're going to get without going over is 112. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Seven Ooh. times 16 was 112. That gives us eight left over. Okay, and we subtract. All right, last one, guys. Bring that zero that you just put in down and 80. Looks like one, two, three, four, five times 16 is 80, we subtract, we get zero. So 3.4375. That's your answer, guys. Okay. All right. So we're going to go on to number four in the spiral review. It says, at the factory, a baseball card is placed in every ninth package of cereal. Football card is placed in every 25th package of cereal. What's the first package that gets both baseball cards and a football card? So, lowest common multiple, guys. Let's do it. Okay, so I'm going to write down a few 
of my 25s because they're so much bigger. Let's see. Okay. I know that 90 doesn't go into 50. I know that it doesn't go into 75. I know it doesn't go into 100 evenly. I don't know about 125. So I'm going to um, but I know that all of my multiples of 9 they add up to 9. So 5 plus 0, that's not 9. 7 plus 5 is 12, that's not 9. 1 doesn't add up. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 5 is 8. That's not going to happen. That's 6. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to keep on going. Okay. 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 5 more is 9. So... It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages or eight. Yep, eight packages. Of a football. Okay. All right. And there we go. Okay. All right. Number five says $15.30 is divided among 15 students. How much does each student receive? So 15 is not going to go into one, but it will go into the 15 ones. That's 15. Subtract. I get zero. I'm going to bring down my 3, okay? 15 is not going to go into 3, so I have to put a 0 in, okay? 0 times 15 is 0, so I'm not going to do all that. I'm just going to go ahead and bring down my other 0, okay? 15 goes into 30 twice. That is 30. Subtract, we get 0. So each person will get $1.02, okay? All right. Last one, guys, stick with me, okay? You guys, I've set up this for you. You guys do number six. You can do it, okay? Work it out, guys, you're amazing. Come on back for one or 2.3. 